everything that is bad, can you say it is bad? Everything that is good, can you say it is good? Can it be what seems bad may be good and what is good may be bad? If you get fired and have a hard time at home, but your path takes you somewhere where you can tell people about Jesus Christ, yes, your life may not be you may not get paid as much money, but you are taken to a place to where you are teaching people about Jesus Christ. Like you become a greater role model. Can you say what happened to you was bad? Can you say that? Let's say you are very close to Jesus Christ now and you are offered a job that pays so much money, but you have to work 10 to 12 hours a day, six days a week. So you have less time to spend with Jesus Christ, this job will lower your relationship with Jesus Christ. So can you say this good thing is bad? I think some bad things are good. You may think I am speaking evil. I am not. What seems bad may be good. Myself, I think much of the bad things that happen to me is good. And you may say to me, why is that? I think much of the bad things that happens to me is for my good. In some cases, I believe somehow, I believe through the grace of God, the bad situation turns out to my advantage somehow. I think that happens so many times. So can I say that bad thing is bad? No. So if some bad things are good, why should I be so depressed when bad things come to me? Why should I contemplate so deeply on bad times? Why should I stay crying and stay depressed when hard times come because if some bad things are good shouldn't i be focused on jesus christ shouldn't i focus on his word shouldn't i be thankful of the good things that he is doing for me if some bad things are good if those bad things are going to happen for my good. Whether it is going to happen for my good or not, I believe I should be in a positive mind frame anyway. If you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, if you are trying to become better and become more like him, I think you need bad times. 
Because if you are selfish, if you are impatient, if you are spiteful, hateful, bitter, lustful, or whatever else, I believe those bad things need to be purged out of you. So bad times may come upon you. I like to say being placed in the fire. So I believe some bad things need to be placed upon you for those bad qualities to be purged out. Myself, I believe I have been through so much stuff. And I believe I am a more patient person because of it. Not saying my patience is at 100%, which I don't believe it, it is. But I believe some hard times, maybe all, but probably I should say some, hard times is good for us. Myself, it seems like I don't really pay so much attention to my problems most times, but as it seems like, <laughs> like they keep coming. <laughs> but, I pray. I pray so much sometimes. Sometimes one hour, maybe a little less than an hour, sometimes two hours, sometimes I think more. So what am I trying to say to you? You can't see everything bad as bad. You can't see everything good as good. Because some good things may be bad. Some bad things may be good. And you may say to me, how can I know if a bad thing is good or a good thing is bad? Test the fruit. Test the spirit. Right? I guess in some cases you may not know until... The end, the end of the situation, or maybe toward the end of the situation, you may see things turning for your good. So we should be, what? No matter what happens, we should be striving for perfection and trying to do the rules of Jesus Christ, no matter what. So don't stress yourself out. Don't start complaining day in and day out because after a while, I think most people don't want to hear about your problem so much. Unless they are like you, maybe. I don't know. So let me stop here. God bless you.